Welcome to the Rideshare Dojo. If you're an Uber or Lyft driver or anyone in the gig economy, this is the place for you. With tips and techniques, interviews with passengers and industry leaders, entertainment, inspiration, motivation. Here, with over 23,000 rides, is your host, Jay Crater. Let's enter the dojo. Hey, everybody. Uber drivers, Lyft drivers, Instacart drivers, Postmates, Ease, Zoom drivers, DoorDash, Via, Amazon Prime, Amazon Prime Now, Uber Eats, Grubhub, all you drivers and passengers and all of us who are part of this big, beautiful gig economy, welcome. It is so great to have you here for today's exciting episode. My name is Jay Crater. Let's enter the dojo. All right, Dojo Nation, we've got a really special guest for you today. His name is Fernando D'Souza. Uh, I met Fernando uh, at 4.45 in the morning. Yes, 4.45 in the morning. I had just uh, ordered my vanilla sweet cream cold brew at my favorite Starbucks um, in San Francisco. And um, and and uh, this... Uh, this a uh, young man walks up to me and says, um, are you Jay? And I'm like, yeah, I'm Jay. He goes, oh, I've, you know, and, 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 you know, he's a driver and, and, uh, tells me a lot of, a lot of, a lot of Brazilian drivers are in the Bay area and, uh, some things like that. And, um, and then, uh, I said, well, I'd love to have you on the, uh, you know, podcast. And, and it, and then it, Within a few emails back and forth, he shared with me that he uh, is crushing a plan B. And I thought, wow, I really got to have this guy on because this is a pretty inspiring <laughs> story. So welcome to the dojo, Fernando D'Souza. Thank you. Thank you, Jay. I, you know, I'm very happy to be here. Yeah, great, great. So um, so can you just give uh, give everybody a little bit of your background? Because you've been at, at the driving for a while now. And uh, yeah, just let people know kind of where you come from and what you've been up to the last, uh, you know, few yeah. years. Uh, yeah. Just, just say, you know, my life story in three minutes. There we I, go. Uh, I like, I like to say that I'm Brazilian by birth, American by choice. Uh, I used to live most of my adult life in Florida, hmm. uh, where I worked. I have three, uh, two main jobs in Florida. I used to be a chef, a cook. Uh, my claim to fame was the Cheesecake Factory, the Bub Gump Shrimp Company, and Universal Studios. Mm -hmm. So um, did it for a while, and then decided to move on, and got into the, you know, finance, mortgage, real estate, insurance. I was at the right place at the wrong time. It was my, it was two thousand and two thousand and eight. Yes, right at the big crash. Yep. So I always had this goal, this thing that I would like to end up retiring in Brazil. Sure. So 10 years ago, I bought a piece of land on the on a beach, and I had the plan to build a bed and breakfast. Mm -hmm. okay. But unfortunately, being an employee in Florida, I never had the chance. You would save money, but uh, building the thing was hard because we had a full-time job, a family, and the whole thing. I didn't have the flexibility. Okay, Back in 2017, a friend of mine told me, say, listen, I think you should try this. There's a uh, something called Uber. Honestly, Jay, up to about 2017, I never, never heard of it, never been in one, mm -hmm. didn't even care about it. So he told me the whole thing and how drivers were making, you know, good living in San Francisco, and I should try it. Mm -hmm. That was going to be the only way that I was going to be able to uh, finish my bed and breakfast. So, you know, got my things together, quit my job, came to the Bay Area was December of uh, 2017. I downloaded the app, uh, and, of course, yeah, Uber took me a little while to be um, – uh, qualified or whatever, you know, the background check, the whole mm -hmm. thing. 
So Lyft was really fast within about three days. Nice. I had my California driver's license. The app was working. And I remember on uh, December, I think, 21st, I set out to, you know, to work. And funny story is that the first ride, I refused it. Mm. I was freaking, freaking out. You know, it's like, oh, my God, driving people around. <laughs> but then I sat there for about an hour sweating and uh, finally turned it on, got my first ride to the airport from the airport. I went to Palo Alto and got another ride back to the airport. Can you imagine that? Yeah. You know, and I look at my my app and I had a little over one hundred and twenty dollars. I think it was, you know, I said, "Man, I'm going to be rich." <laughs> yeah. You know? Yeah. 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 And from from that point on, I I I think I can. I really think I'm going to be able to do this. Mm-hmm. But like most of us, I didn't have anybody that i could kind of mirror i always believe you know if you want to be good at something you got to find somebody or something that's better than you yeah and uh, just imitate mm-hmm. you know yeah so within about three months that i was driving i came across you know the rideshare guy <laughs> harry became and then harry became oh man this guy is awesome and uh and that order uh, the uh, the ride share guide, you know, that, that he had on PDF. And mm-hmm. I read the whole thing. It's, now, yes, I have a plan. Mm-hmm. I have something that I can, uh, you know, uh, follow. Um, and then you came into the mix. I started watching uh, more of your videos than anything else. I, you know, I started watching Cecily. Uh, that, I think that's her name, right? Yeah, Cecily. Cecily. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And also Sergio. Yes. And, um, you know, start listening to you guys, and then you, you said, "Man, I have a plan B. Now I have a blueprint." Yes. On how to achieve that plan B. Yeah. You know. Yeah. And uh, that's my story on how yeah. I ended up here in San Francisco. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, congratulations. First of all, I mean, to uh, it's interesting. You came from Florida. Another uh, friend of mine who I met through, uh, he called me he wanted some coaching was coming from Florida, uh, a young man named Jeremy. And he also, tra- he traveled from, <laughs> from Florida to San Francisco specifically <laughs> to drive and, and also then to, to branch out and, and do something else. So, um, good for you. That's, that's a, you know, it's a big commitment, but it, it's obviously, uh, wor- working for you. Um, how did you, wh- I want to go back. How did you, uh, come up with, uh, having a, an Airbnb or a, at that point a bed and breakfast um, in Brazil as as kind of the way you wanted to uh, you know pursue your life. Well, did you have any any uh, background in hospitality? Well, I get, you said you were a chef, so I guess that's yes. kind of in that in that field. But uh, yeah. was the idea of just you know li- living on the beach and having people come from all over the world and stay there and you know you get to interact with them? I mean, it's a lovely, a lovely vision. Um, h- how did you come up with that? It was a little bit of all of the above. When I first came to America through Florida, I was very, very fortunate to be hired into the restaurant business slash hotel. I worked for a family. Hmm. And they own properties in Florida, Holiday Inn uh, hotels in Florida, and also in Bar Harbor, Maine. Hmm. So for about seven years, I was having the time of my life, but I didn't know it. Um, summers in Bar Harbor, Maine, winters in Florida, and between Brazil. So I was really early on exposed to that type of environment. Mm-hmm. But then I decided, I decided, but Back then, English was, you know, English is not my first language. Portuguese is. And I was having a hard time to move on and move up Mm -hmm. because of the language. So I decided to, you know, take a little bit of time off from working. I went to school, Mm -hmm. uh, took classes at at the ESOL program. Yes. English for speakers of other languages. Mm -hmm. So uh, for about two years, I did that. And then I... Ended up in uh, a Florida uh, Culinary Institute mm, mm-hmm. uh, for a year. I see. Uh, where that gave me the background. But 
in the back of my mind, because of my exposure to Maine in Bar Harbor, mm. where bed and breakfast everywhere, mm -hmm. you know, you that uh, you like to travel, man, that's a great place to go if you haven't been there yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, so I said, man, I got to get me one of these in Brazil. Got you it. You know, so you and, so you saw it. You saw it. Somebody else doing it, and and right, and it right. felt it felt good. Yeah, it felt really good. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, uh, can you tell me a little bit what you, what you know? Because I, I don't remember exactly what you said, but you said there are a lot of Brazilian drivers in 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 the Bay Area. Um, do you remember what you told me? It was, it was I found it really interesting, but you seem to know to know other other Brazilians who are working in rideshare driving. Yes, uh, uh, so you know this is a it's going to be news for a lot of people, but it's been for a while in our in our community. Uh, uh, the Bay Area. Mm -hmm. From San Jose all the way up to Richmond is the fastest growing Brazilian population in the country, in the United States of America, hmm. right now. Mm -hmm. And Uber, Lyft, and Amazon Flex are number one, two, and three in four years within the Brazilian community. Hmm. Uh, well, let's say that 75 to 80% of Brazilians that I know through different groups, uh, organizations, church, they all drive for Uber, Lyft, and Amazon Flex. Mm, mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. So this is, and that's why uh, it, uh, in between, uh, it's one of those things that I, I tell Brazilians, I, I never took this, even though I like it, I really enjoy driving. I like, you know, driving and meeting new people every day. Sure. You know, uh, hoping I will never see them again. You know, listen, I kind of like the idea of, okay, I met this person, had a great conversation, and I'll probably will never see them again. Mm -hmm. And, uh, but uh, one thing that I noticed, most Brazilians in the Bay Area, they don't speak English. Mm. So we started a project of, English for drivers in our church. Oh, nice. So, uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, it's uh, with a, uh, an American uh, teacher who loves teaching English. And uh, between him, myself, and another friend, we uh, came up with these, uh, you know, uh, English class for drivers. Got it. You know? mm -hmm. And then you guys came along with Plan B. I mm -hmm. said, man, this is perfect because... I honestly don't believe we should drive as a full-time gig. Or we should drive forever. Right. And like you and Harry, you always say, the writing's on the wall. This yeah. industry, the industry is changing real fast. Yes. And, and I don't want to get caught mm -hmm. with my pants down. <laughs> right. 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 It is. It is. Um, it keeps changing. And I don't. I don't know if you heard today. They. Uh, Uber made a big announcement that um, they're letting letting drivers uh, adjust the uh, the surge pricing around airports and and uh, and eliminate surge pricing if they want to uh, when they're not at the airports and uh, it's yeah I, I I see it as a really not a great not a great thing for drivers um, so yeah you're right I think that the trend is clearly not good um, if you just if you just and, and, if you just follow and, the curve, it eventually hits right. the ground. <laughs> and, and and that's why I tell my Brazilian friends, I say, listen, if you don't speak the language, where you're not connected to people like now, you guys, mm -hmm. you know, he, I, 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 all this information that you guys put out there, and believe me, Jay, I've seen other people doing blogs and this, but you guys do research mm -hmm. out there. You're, you know. You can rely on the information that you put out there. And then uh, I I even mentioned that to Harry, and Harry's a great guy because I mentioned to him in one of my emails that I would like to, you know, to translate the mm. information mm. that you guys put out there, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. because this is only going to inform the drivers and going to make us better drivers. Yeah. And uh, we even have an idea, and then we talk about it later to do a voiceover on your videos if you asked to do. Mm. It would be Jay speaking Portuguese, you know? <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah. I, I know, too, um, that when you drive uh, full-time and you don't have, uh, like, a plan B, um, it, it can be kind of discouraging. 
And w- once you, you know, like you, once you know your money, you know, you're working hard, putting a little extra money towards, you know, your Airbnb, suddenly, right. you know, you wake up like, all right, I'm going to go drive today because this is contributing towards this bigger dream, this bigger goal, this bigger vision that you have. And, uh, you know, the whole day looks different. You know, you're right. not like you're not at this dead end job um, that at some point is going to go away. You're, you know, you're you're in charge of your life. You know, you've got some right. purpose for it. Um, yeah. Um, so um, a- as you've been uh, pursuing this, um, you must you must have hit some some hiccups or some challenges along the way. Um, what's been the biggest challenge and, and how did you overcome it? Uh, the biggest challenge was that in the beginning was like uh, uh, learning uh, how to, you know, to support myself here. I, you know, I have a son. He's in Florida. He's uh, going to be uh, in pre-med. Mm. He's uh, going to take the MCAT um, this uh, this year. So mm-hmm. uh, he still relies on me from income. And, uh, yep. you know, I, my, I, I like to say I'm a provider first. Mm-hmm. So you have to divide that. There's a life here in San Francisco. There's some, you know, there's a life that depends on me in Florida. And then there is my goal. Yes. So you kind of, you know, dividing the, uh, I set goals mm-hmm. for my, uh, uh, my daily achievement. Yes. Uh, you know, there's so much money that I be sent. I need to be sent into Brazil mm-hmm. in order to get, you know, the, the, to keep the place going. Right. Okay. Right. And sometimes you let other things get in the way, what we call distractions. Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. And um, I use that Airbnb, that place, the bed and breakfast, I call gumboabeach.com. There's a name. <laughs> Even has a name. Um, and it, it becomes, when I'm kind of discouraged, like uh, tired, and, uh, you know, I'm hitting about 10 hours of driving, and I haven't hit my uh, my money goal. Right, right. Uh, I just start talking to my passengers. Mm-hmm. You know, I mm-hmm. tell them about my plan B. Yes. And it's a great piece of conversation. Mm-hmm. You know, and at the end of the day, at the end of that ride, they hey, great plan, keep it up. And by sharing that mm-hmm. with the riders, mm-hmm. you know, I get back from them. Yes. You know, that uh, boost of energy, boost of uh, yeah. confidence that I'm it, in the right. Yeah. Yeah. They give you encouragement. And I, I also find, too, uh, they'll give you better tips because you're, you're, uh, they, they want people just, I think, in, naturally want to be generous. And, they, you know, if they can throw a $3 tip in and a $5 tip in, uh, knowing you're, you know, you're, you're not just some guy, you're a guy with a plan and, you know, uh, right. Yeah. Jay, it, you're, you're hitting the nail on the head. Just sharing with you last week, I took one of those rides early in the morning, a uh, lady going to Palo Alto, you know, was mm-hmm. my first ride, like five thirty in the morning. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then I, I talked to her a little bit and then, you know, share a little bit of my story. And then she, you know, fell asleep afterwards, you know, I gave her a nice ride. As I was driving back, all of a sudden I see this, uh, I was tipped twice. Hmm. I think it was $15 yeah. and another $11. Okay? <laughs> right. I think it was, I think it was uh, she wanted to round it up and it was 11 something. And then all of a sudden they came another $15. Hmm. I said, what, what, what is this? So it was a total of $26 tip yeah. on what she, which was, I think it was a $40 ride and like you said i've noticed every time i share that story the plan b yes even if it's a dollar or five dollars the tip they're coming in you're right you're 100 percent right yeah 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 um yeah it's interesting um you, you, we, we have a lot some similarities so my daughter um is 23 and she took the mcat last year <clears throat> and she's she's now working as a medical scribe, um, you know, to get experience that she can put on her, you know, her applications. Um, and yeah, uh, that that is a that's that's great what you brought up. And, that the, 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 and, and, and Jay, we never spoke about it, right? 
No, my no. My son Anthony last year. Yeah. Went through a whole training. Yep. As a, you know, he works at a, as a volunteer. He's been working as a volunteer at a hospital in Boca Raton mm-hmm. for about three years now, and that's what he wants to do. You know, as a, scri- a scriber, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's the person that's going walk is going to walk around with the doctor, right? Taking notes on mm-hmm. the laptop. Yeah. So he has the training. He's just looking for the right place to. Uh, that's amazing, man. And yeah. We have a lot of things in common, right? Yeah. Here. Yeah. And and I think what you said is really true that. Um, and, and I think this will be support. This will really support um, the people who are listening to this. That when you pursue your plan B, it's not like this straight line. Um, that you know, okay. So my plan B is you know work and travel. That's you know I, I want to be able to to work from wherever I'm. I, I happen to be. I want all my work to go through my computer, and as long as I got a Wi-Fi signal, I can work. And that's that. But, you know, I've also got, you know, uh, my daughter, right? right? I've got to make sure she's taken care of, you know, she's going to need help with medical school and getting, you know, all that is involved in that. And then I've got my mother, you know, who's, right. who's you know, got her issues and she needs uh, care and attention. And then there's my life, you know, that I want to live, you know, in some other country. So, you know, right. so so like I'm talking to you today from from Thailand. You know, I'm in Bangkok, Thailand, l- living my dream. But you know, I'm not in a position where I can actually live outside of the country yet. You know, because I've got these other things. So you know, it's kind of like this negotiation going on all the time. Uh, oh, but tell me about it. yeah, but but having that vision makes it so much easier because I'm excited every day because I know I'm moving ultimately towards it. And, and it's, it's just, uh, yeah, it's a different way of, of living. Yeah. So right. and, I, and, uh, I, you mentioned it, I've been following your move from Sacramento, uh, near or to your mom's house, right? Yes. Uh, yes. In Roseville. Yeah. 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 My, my mom, my mom is going to be nine years old, uh, next month. Yeah. Okay. I am very blessed, very, you know, because I have great siblings, uh, mm-hmm. two brothers and a sister in Brazil, they take care of her. And she is my biggest fan, hmm. and then and she's doing everything so I don't go to Brazil next month because she wants it. She she's it's like, listen, if you come here, you're not gonna send an extra three thousand dollars for your construction, and then you're not gonna finish mm-hmm. your. So that's the approach. Having people like that around you, okay, it's 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 uh, awesome. Yeah, people that really. You know, they want you to succeed. And another thing, Jay, I am accountable to you guys because I mentioned that to you. So now I really have to make it happen because <laughs> otherwise it's only going to be a dream. Yeah. And there's one place full of dreamers. It's called the cemetery. Yes. Yes. Okay? Yeah. And, big, uh, big difference it, between a dreamer and a doer. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. I like to say the uh, difference between a dream and a goal. A goal is a dream with a deadline. Mm, mm-hmm. Yeah. That yeah. you got to make it happen. Yeah. You know? Well, um, do you have any pictures of your um, project? I do. As a matter of fact, I, I, I can send it to you. Yeah, send okay? it to me because I'm going to I'm going to take I'm going to I'm going to make an article because right. the uh, the podcast reaches a certain group of people, but I, I also. Terry said I could write an article about what you're doing to add to our life after um, rideshare driving um, category uh, on the website. So then you'll have an article about you to put on your wall <laughs> and we'll further. Oh, man, I'm just going to, you know, it, and believe me, when I, listen, when I saw you that I couldn't believe what my eyes were seeing you because I tell you what, we, you know, I don't admire a lot of people. I'm not the type of guy that, uh, People, they're making a difference in our lives, you yeah. know, and uh, up to that point, you're somebody online, okay? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, this is Jay. He's, uh, you know, and uh, by coming across you that day, it was unbelievable. <laughs> that, that, that proof meant that you guys talk the talk. And you guys walk the walk, <laughs> right? Okay. It's a uh, <laughs> one day. One day it was. Um, I don't know, this is a few months ago, but I was in my car in Oakland, right around Lake Merritt, you know, and I'm stopped at a, at a light 
And this guy comes up next to me in his car and rolls his, you know, passenger window down and he's waving at me. And I'm like, roll my window down. And he goes, you're Jay. <laughs> I was like, okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. This is, uh, people yeah, are, people you are. I know the best part of it. After you left. All right. Yeah. Because I know that, that, uh, that's usually my usual hangout. Yeah. Okay. That, that Starbucks. And I was talking to and they're asking, oh, that's Jay, man. He's a celebrity online. And he's this righteous guy. <laughs> you guys should give him, you know. Free, free coffee. Coffee every time he comes here. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> and Jay, yeah. just to, to be part of a, it's a record. You, uh, you like to travel. Have you ever been to Brazil? Um, no, I've been, okay. um, in South America, I've only been to, uh, right. I went to Peru and to, uh, Bogota, Colombia. Yeah. I'll make, I'll make sure that I want to, I want to make an invitation, make it public here. When I'm <laughs> okay. done. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to, you're going to have, like I, I tell my, um, writers, if you ever make it to Brazil, you will have free breakfast on me. Okay. I know how to cook a mean breakfast, but. To okay. you, my friend, let's make it like a 10-day stay on me. <laughs> okay. Okay? Yeah. You're going to be able to put all these videos, because I know you've been working, because you come in, you know, there are a lot of videos coming uh, this weekend, yeah. this week, right? Yeah, yeah. All right? Yeah. So, there we go. There we go. All right. I've got an invitation. Nice. All right. 10 days in Brazil. Yeah. 10 days in Brazil. On the beach. <laughs> yeah. On Great. the beach. Yeah. If you don't know how to kite surf. You're probably going to have the opportunity to learn how to kite surf. Okay. All right. Fantastic. <laughs> okay. Great. Right. I, I love it. Let me ask you uh, my, my last three questions. Um, uh, you're, on, you're on a deserted island, and you can only watch one movie. Uh, what's the movie going to be? Your favorite movie. Oh, man. You got me now. Uh, of course, it has to be that one with Tom Hanks, uh, with the, is the FedEx guy. Oh, you know, I'm cast, a big fan of Tom. Cast, cast away. away. Yeah, cast yeah. Away. Okay. All right. That's a great movie. Um, yeah, he talks to the golf ball, names it Wilson. Right. Yeah, yeah. Wilson. Yeah. All right. Sec, second question. Um, what pictures do you have on the wallpaper on your phone? Oh, I have a picture of my bed and breakfast. Oh, nice. All right. Send me that yeah. picture. Yeah. 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 I will send it to you. Yeah. Do a, uh, yeah, do, uh, do a screenshot. That would be pretty cool. Right. Um, Absolutely. Okay, last question. When you walk into a room, your your song is playing, your theme song. So there's a whole group of people, and you're walking in, and this is the song that you want people to hear that kind of says, this is me, this is Fernando. What, what song would that be? Born in the USA. I always wanted to. That's my, uh, with uh, uh, Bruce Springsteen. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's the, There we go. <laughs> Yeah, it's a good song. I, I'm a huge Bruce Springsteen fan. Yeah, yeah. All right, all right, Fernando. Thanks so much for uh, for joining me here in the dojo. It was great talking to you. Uh, you got an infectious energy, and I'm sure that uh, many of the uh, drivers are now thinking. What do I really want? And what am I going to go out and, and make happen? Uh, just like Fernando has done. So thank you for entering the dojo. It's been great. Thank you. Loved this episode of the Rideshare Dojo podcast? Head over to iTunes to subscribe, rate, and leave a review. It really helps and it's very much appreciated. Be sure to visit RideshareDojo.com to join the conversation, access the show notes, and discover our fantastic bonus content. Thanks for listening, and be safe out there.